I'm serious. I cannot get out of this garage. Okay. <laughs> Hi. I am attempting to get out of my garage and there are cars everywhere because some of our garage thingies are filled with boxes. <laughs> I am headed to um, Mall at Millennia in Orlando. I have an appointment with a designer guy at this furniture store. Um, his name is Andre. And he came to the house and measured and did things, and he has some plans for me, and I need to go sit on some now sofas right and, and see which left. one I can possibly Chase like. Road. Meantime, I've got to avoid all the landscapers and people. Okay, um, so I'm, that's where I'm headed right now. I'm getting there the minute the mall store area opens. Pretty much I'm trying to. That's the plan anyway. I should get there right beforehand. Um, so yeah, I think the timing is good. Never know. Now turn left. Now turn left. Okay. Let me get over here. So that's what's happening. It's been a while since you've been in the car with me. Taking one of my little car... It's going to go clunkety clunk every time. So I really wish I would have unloaded that stuff back there After first. One mile, turn left. But I didn't. Um, so, there's that. So that's what we're up to today. We are headed to a furniture store. I have to choose a sofa. What we're looking for is... Um, a light colored fabric, but not white, white, you know, not a, not a white, really bright light, but light, um, something durable and textured a little bit. So it doesn't just look flat. And what we want is a long, it's a big space. We want it to fill the space nicely, but then the one end have like a chaise at the end, not an actual sectional with a back on it, but that one end be like a chaise. So that's the plan. Um, and Andre came and took the measurements and he knows what he's doing um so that's good so i don't have to worry about which size so that's a good deal so i have to go check out fabrics and sit on some sofas to see which ones are the most comfortable and then i want to look at some bedroom stuff for the guest room um things like that but this mall is about 30 minutes away from me 28 minutes according to the navigation system um this time of day which it's 9 30 right now and any minute I have um, people coming to show up at the house to clean all the outside windows of the house because they're pretty bad. Um, so they're gonna go do that. They didn't need me home for that, which is good because I'm not. Um, so there's that. Uh, let's see, what else? I am knee deep in trying to organize stuff still at the house, but I really just needed to get this piece of furniture ordered since it's going to take a long time. It could take 12 weeks. So even if I order something today, we may not get it till like the first part of August. Two mile turn left onto Main Street. So that's what's going on today. And I thought I'd bring you with me to the mall. This mall is really nice. I've been a couple times. They have um, pretty much all the stores. I would like to stop at Williams-Sonoma too while I'm there. I've got some things I wanna look at there. Um, but they also have a luxury section, so that was really fun. That's why I first went to go check it out. They have a Louis Vuitton, Chanel, you know, uh, Hermes. They've just got no everything you can think of. Um, Yves Saint Laurent, you know, just all the stuff. The one store that they used to have that they no longer have is Cartier. So if you want to go to Cartier, that's not going to be there now. The first exit. But there you have it. Oh, I'm going right past my post office. Okay, so that's the plan, and I thought I'd bring you with me, so come with me to the mall. At the roundabout, take the first exit. So we made it to the mall, yay. Um, they don't open for another five minutes, so at least I made it here just in time to sit down and chat a little bit. But um, nice drive, it's not really bad at all. I found a different way to come this time that didn't involve a highway, which is good. Um, there's one highway in the area that I avoid at all costs. It's pretty bad. It's the one that everyone takes to Disney, and it's just crazy, I don't know. It's just like nuts. So anyway, <laughs> um, that's the one I'm talking about that I, uh, four, 
the highway number four. Bad. I don't like it. So anyway, I try to take back roads and not take up too much more extra time. So wanted to share that, that I made it. So we're here and I'm nervous. I'm nervous about trying to find just the right thing. I was talking to my husband on the phone on the way here and, um, you know, we, we're both just like, oh gosh, we really, okay, here, when it comes to style, here's us. We really can appreciate all the newer things and all the newer looks and the farmhouse stuff and the modern and the, you know, all that stuff. I mean, we do think it looks very, very attractive and so forth, but we wouldn't necessarily want to live with it ourselves. Now that probably just shows that we're old, but um, I'm okay with that, I guess. I don't really want a grandma house, but I want cozy, I want comfortable, and I don't want to have to change my furniture every five years. And furniture used to be something that you could buy and, you know, just pretty much stick with it for at least certain pieces for quite a while. Now, of course, you know, the styles change so fast and with all the HGTV and stuff and next styles coming up and the next colors and the next thing. So by the time you figure out, you know, getting your house the way you want it for a certain look, it's all changing. You know, it's like that whole gray thing. Everything was gray, 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 gray. Now that's gone away. The really white kitchens. I mean, that's always been a classic, but if it's done in a certain way, it looks that like that thing that everyone was doing for the last few years. And it just doesn't, it doesn't last the, through time. And I personally, not only do I not want to have to go through the hell of redoing everything constantly, feeling like I'm trying to keep it looking, you know, magazine ready. I don't, I don't really want to do that. I want it to be look newish, you know what I mean? And modern-ish, but not, you know, some classicness to it. I want it to just cut, go with us through life a little bit more. And that's very hard to do without it looking dated. And that's how I feel about kitchens and everything too. I really appreciate the older styles and stuff. And I don't want to throw away these gorgeously carved wooden things, you know, that they're beautiful. And then five years later, that's not the style anymore. So then you have to rip that out or you feel like, yo, oh, I'm not in style. I have a problem with that. I do. And it's just like adding more and more garbage to the world. Um, yes, you can try to reclaim things. Yes, you can try to, um, you know, rip things out gently and find someone somehow that wants those pieces to use in their home. You know, how do you do that? That's another, that's a full-time job on its own. So I'm just confused when it comes to redoing things and because I will be redoing some bathrooms and a lot of these pieces are perfectly functional and fine. They're just dated um, and someone could benefit from them. That might be, it might be more, nor, you know, more newer than what they have at the time. So they'd like to, to you know, I give them to the, give it to them for free. So if anyone knows of any kind of a place like that, that a person can basically give their stuff to, I mean, they'd have to very carefully remove it when you do the removal process, but you know where I'm going with this? Okay. So I'm trying to find furniture and do changes to the house that are traditional enough that they will last through time. I want timeless with a newish, newer, more modern twist. And that is hard. It's harder than you think, unless you start trying, it's just crazy. So that's what I get to walk into right now. And I'm just not looking forward to it, but I hopefully everything, la, I'll just have like, everything will go come together and I'll find just the right things and it'll be perfect. And then it also is going into a room that it'll probably not look the same in a while because we're going to redo that main back TV wall and stuff. So I've got to kind of remember, I'm not really designing for what it is now as much as I am for what it will be, but I don't know what it's going to be. Yeah, this is why you're coming with me. I need your help. Of course, I'm not very familiar with this mall, and I parked at the complete opposite end of where I should have. So I'm hiking there. I'll be a few minutes late.
did that. It took way longer than I thought, but I did that. It's hot outside and the car stayed pretty warm, so my coffee from this morning is still hot. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's noon and I'm just still finishing, still finishing my morning coffee. So I did that. Oh gosh, it took forever. Andre did a fantastic job designing what um, I was talking about. So he was great and it's good because I will be using him for several other rooms too. <laughs> but um, I finally figured it out, got the giant sofa ordered because it's a big room and we wanted to fill the space. And so it's basically a long sofa with a long double chaise at the end. Um, so sort of like a sectional, but not the, there's no back on that chaise part on the side. Anyway, long story. Um, that will not come until probably the first week of July. So it's going to be a while with the stuff we have. In the meantime, I ordered um, a king size bed for the guest room, a rug for the guest room, two side table and table things for the guest room, and the sofa. I think that's all I've gotten so far because I'm still questioning the coffee table situation, the rug for the family room, a couple end tables, things like that I'm still questioning and working on. So. The big ticket item though, with the sofa, the giant sofa with chaise, that is ordered. So I can't change my mind. <laughs> that was the hardest part. It's a special order, you know how that goes. So anyway, um, hoping that'll all work out well. I was FaceTiming and stuff with my husband while I was in the store. Um, and at one point he thought that a, a sisal rug that I was showing him, like jute sisal, he was thinking that that was the fabric swatch for the sofa. And he's like, that doesn't look very soft. I'm like, Jim, that's a rug. So we were cackling like idiots on FaceTime in the store, but that's okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, it took two hours, two hours of me in there looking around at things and so forth, but it was fun and I got a lot of ideas and now I have a whole lot more to figure out, but I've got that ordered. So now I need to get home because I have an appointment at one. So I made it home. That was quite the ordeal of furniture buying, but I think we have a plan, at least a good start of a plan. And I did stop by William Sonoma and I want to show you what I got. My cookie sheet things are just horrible. So I needed to get new. So I got these, I really like this gold, whatever it's called, Gold Touch Pro, good stuff. And this one has the rack, which I like, but I didn't need two of the rack. So I got two of the larger sizes. They are, uh, I don't know the size, but they're big. Oh, here we go. They're those, the bigger size ones. And then in the move somehow, I cannot find my meat pounder thing, tenderizer hammer thing. So I got one of these. I made schnitzel the other night and just didn't work. I had to use the back of an ice cream scoop thing. <laughs> and then also I'm really struggling with um, can openers and I was, told that this one is the one that everybody loves the most. It's the William Sonoma brand one. It's just your average can opener manual, but everyone loves this one and it sells better than any other. So I'm gonna give that a try. So now I have 11 minutes to go to the bathroom, refill my water and go, get onto a telehealth appointment um, that I have going on here. So that's gonna happen next and then I can unload some more boxes. But thank you for coming with me and trying to help me figure out what I need and what I don't need for this situation we've got going on here. Um, this will be the first of many trips trying to figure stuff out, but um, at least I got the big item ordered, the couch sofa thing. So it's gonna be first of June, no, first of July, basically around the first of July before that even comes in. So we'll be dealing with what we have now currently until then, um, but that's okay. Cause everything is, you know, everything takes time. The other bits and pieces will come sooner. The guest room bed, rug and two side tables will come um in a couple weeks so that'll be nice yes thank you guys talk to you later bye